on, let's go. You know, it's rude to yell this early in the morning. Well, we're gonna be late. I've never been late for anything in my entire life. Then let's go. You're just loving this crappy job, aren't you? What's not to like? We're being paid to sit around all day with no customers. And besides, I think the bookstore is kind of old and cool. Yeah, keywords old and no customers. I don't want to sit around all day doing nothing. Just give it a chance. You never know, Bex. You may even like it. This will be the best job yet. What's going on here? Poor guy. I've known him since I was a child. He's always been a part of this town. His poor family. Excuse me, do you know who that is? Well, yeah, that's George. He owns a local bakery. What? No, 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 this can't be. Move along, ladies. Move along. Come on, Bex, we gotta go. Bex, I'm gonna be late opening the store. Yeah, okay. After the day we've had, can I just hang out in the back and find something entertaining to do? Well, at least do some cleaning while you're back there. As if today wasn't gonna be boring enough. I'm going to be free soon. Good morning, sir. How can we help you today? Good morning, ladies. I have a proposition for you today. And that would be? It's an old book handed down from my family tree. And I've been cleaning, and this is something I don't see any need for anymore. Seriously? What is this even about? It's just scribbles of dates and numbers in here. Yes, it's just utter gibberish. A total nonsense, really. But I thought someone would make sense out of it. Maybe someone would find it interesting. Um, can we have a moment over here, two of us? Just a minute. You can't be serious about wanting to buy that, Rach. It's garbage. How much did you want for it? Whatever you think is right, miss. Um, don't look at me. I don't want to buy it. The sale's all you, girl. I'll be right back. It's okay. Thank you, miss. Have a good day. That man gives me the creeps. I don't know, he seems nice. But I've heard the story, so I guess who knows what he's really like. June 1905, male strangulation. October 1921, female head trauma. April 1923, child strangulation. September 1954, family goes missing, bodies will never be found. October 2015, male blunt force trauma to the head. Hey, uh, so George's death is all over the news and they're saying it doesn't seem to be an accident. What? So they're saying he was murdered? There's no suspect or anything, but the cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head. Wait, are you sure that's what it says? Yeah, why? Everything you just told me about George's death is written here in this book. One the creepy guy gave us every single detail. What is this? 
How is this even possible? I don't know why I'm as freaked out as you are right now. There are hundreds of pages in here with just dates and details. Some of the dates haven't even happened yet. It's just me and you now, darling. I've nowhere else to be. So what do we do? We stop it. 